Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfecto. Have it ready. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Chocolate Life Live. My name is Clay Gordon and I want to introduce my guest for this Friday's live stream. Carolina Pozo of Muse Chocolate in Ecuador. So Carolina, um, you're involved in um, some conservation efforts. You are involved in creating a cacao community in Manabí, but your own background, how did you get started in cocoa and chocolate? And um, can you lead us through a little bit about what we're gonna learn on Friday? Thank you, Clay, for the invite. It's a pleasure to be here and exchange some ideas and our story with you. Um, it's really been a long journey. Uh, it all started from a nonprofit effort creating Avanti, which is a nonprofit organization in Ecuador. Uh, I, I founded it in 2008. And uh, we've been working with uh, farmers in the rural areas for all these years, uh, implementing sustainable development projects. And uh, Muse Chocolate is a result um, of an effort to connect the supply chain and create innovative chocolate products. So. Uh, yeah, we've been, we'll be discussing a bit about the story, what we're working on right now, and especially about our big dream. And, you know, for those um, who have never been to Ecuador before, what I want to say is the background we've got here um, was taken during my trip in 2003 out along the Rio Napo in Napo province. But, you know, Carolina, in the conversation that you and I have been having with your sister, Gabriela, it turns out that we have this, you know, wonderful connection um, in that you're working with Douglas McMeekin's Yachana Foundation. Um, and when I visited Ecuador in 2003, I actually stayed at Yachana Lodge. So it's, it's really, really quite wonderful. Here we are 17, 18 years later making this connection. What is it about what it is that Douglas is doing um, that you find um, worthy of the support of the foundation and what it is that you're doing at Muse? Well, I actually met uh, Douglas early uh, when I was uh, trying to uh, create a concept around the nonprofit. And he was a best practice of uh, sustainability, conservation, and development projects in Ecuador. Uh, with over decades of work, uh, Douglas have had an amazing impact uh, with the local communities and his conservation efforts. And uh, I was uh, happy to collaborate with him in an initiative called Footprint for Life, which is actually about offsetting your CO2 emissions as humans, as organizations, as companies, uh, and that's something that we're going to push forward with him. Uh, he's a great storyteller, a great mentor, and definitely a great friend. I remember really, really very positively my experience um, being with him, you know, having a chance to spend time with him and having a chance to spend time at Yachana. So to those of you who may be watching this trailer, uh, please join us this coming Friday, which is December 17th, uh, starting at 12 p.m. Eastern time here in New York, uh, but streaming live around the world on YouTube and Facebook and on LinkedIn. So please join us then. You can learn more about the work that uh, uh, that Muse Chocolate is doing. Um, and um, if you're watching live, you'll be able to uh, ask questions and we'll be able to respond to them in real time. Until then, Carolina, thank you very much. And I'm looking forward you, to continuing the conversation on Friday. <laughs>